When astronomers talk about the expansion of the universe, they usually express it in terms of the Hubble parameter. First introduced by Edwin Hubble when he demonstrated that more distant galaxies are moving away from us faster than the closer ones. The best measurement for this parameter gives a value of about 68 kilometers per megaparsec. So let's recap. Hubble, universe, galaxies, leaving, further means faster. And then I said something that sounded like blah, blah, Lando, blah, blah, Kessel Run, 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, which translates to if you have a galaxy one megaparsec away, that's 3.3 million light years for those of you who haven't seen Star Wars, it would be expanding away from us at a speed of 68 kilometers per second. So one megaparsec in distance means that it's racing away at 68 kilometers per second. This is all because space is expanding everywhere in all places and as a result distant galaxies appear to be expanding away from us faster than closer ones. There's just more space to expand between us and them in the first place. Even better, our universe was much more dense in the past and as a result the Hubble parameter hasn't always had the same value. Now the two things affecting the Hubble parameter dark energy working to drive the universe outwards and matter dark and regular flavor trying to hold it together. Pro tip the matter side of this fight is currently losing. So earlier in the universe when the Hubble parameter was smaller matter had a stronger influence due to its higher overall density. Today dark energy is dominant thus the Hubble parameter is larger. And this is why we talk about the universe not only expanding, but accelerating. Our cosmos expands at about the rate at which space is expanding, and the speed at which objects expand away from us depends on their distance. So if you go far enough out, there's a distance which objects are speeding away from us faster than the speed of light. And as a result, it's expected that receding galaxies will cross a type of cosmological event horizon where any evidence of their existence, not even light, would ever be able to reach us, no matter how far into the future you went. So what do you think? Is there anything out there past that cosmological event horizon line waiting to surprise us? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Mike Armanini and the rest of the members who support us in our quest to make great space and astronomy content every week. Our community members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. But want to get on the action? Click here. We'd like to thank our. <laughs> So close. How many jobs, Fraser? I'm so close. How many jobs? Mike Armanini. Mike Armanini. <laughs>